Hello there. My name is Elisha. I like software development. And today, I want to show you how to build your first application. Before we do that though, you might have any questions and I recommend that you visit my blog simpledeveloper.com where you can contact me in person or use Twitter. Or you can also leave a, me uh, a comment below this video. So, before we build our to-do list application, I would like to let you know that we have to set up our environment. Every development environment has different tools or requires different tools and this is not an exception. So before we go further, I would like to show you what we will need. One of the things that we will need is a Java runtime environment. We will need a Java runtime environment because we will be using Eclipse and Eclipse requires a Java runtime environment. The second thing we will need is an Android SDK. Android Software Development Kit is free and you can download it at the, uh, the URL uh, displayed. We also need an Eclipse IDE. Eclipse is also free and you can also download it from the link above. Another thing we need is an ADT plugin for Eclipse. I'll show you how to download all this in a few seconds and everything should be straightforward. Some people might already have a Java runtime environment installed but if you don't I suggest you go ahead and download it already. Now let's try and download the rest of the tools. Please fire up your uh, favorite search engine and search download Android SDK. If you do that, you should be able to uh, locate this page. And this page has a button suggesting that you download the SDK ADT bundle, depending on the operating system that you have. I am using Windows. I recommend doing this because it gives you all the tools you need, meaning you don't have to download everything separately. So, you will get an Eclipse IDE, you will also get an ADT plugin, and you will also get an Android SDK tools, Android platform tools, the latest Android platform, the latest Android system image for the emulator. As you can see, you will have everything you need to get started programming for the Android apps. That being said, some people might decide that they already have an Eclipse IDE. If that is you, I recommend that you go ahead and download the SDK itself. For example, look here. We are saying, if you already have an IDE like Eclipse that you would want to use, you can just download the SDK tools and then after that, you can go back here setting up an existing IDE and under that assuming you've installed the Android SDK tools you can say you want to install the Eclipse plugin so in order to, to install the Eclipse plugin you need to type this or copy this and keep it somewhere and then from within Eclipse and that is done by just saying this is my Eclipse IDE going to help and then install new software. If you do that, you'll get a pop-up window. And this window will have an area here saying work with. Now, under this area work with, you can paste in the URL that you just copied from the website. And this is right here. That is what I copied. If you do that, you can click add. But since I already did it, it's already uh, loaded up the, doc the tools that I need. So you just select developer tools and you click next until you finish it. So that is very straightforward. But again, I highly recommend downloading, uh, I highly recommend downloading the bundle because it will make your life easier. Now, if you decide to do that and you're done with it, and you say 
you probably don't have a Java runtime environment. All you need to do, again, fire up your IDE and search download Java runtime environment. You will most likely arrive at this page. And here, all you need to do is select the, the right version for your computer, the operating system that you have. So, for example, I have a Windows 8. So I'll just select the last one because it is a 64-bit. So all you need to do is accept the, uh, the terms of use and click download. After you click download, you'll be done. Once the download is complete, just double click it and it will be installed for you. That is all you need to do to get started with Android application programming. If you have any questions, please visit my blog and you'll find a step-by-step -step guide on how to do this. And my blog has a post just for that. I hope you have fun and I look forward to seeing you uh, in the next video where we'll build our first application. Have a good day and stay safe. Bye-bye.